Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia, where we last left off. Um, we were rebuilding after the uh, vicious attack on our island. <clears throat> so, I think we're ready to depart. However, I'm pretty sure we're not departing on this ship. Let's go find out, shall we? Jag Nabbit, where do you think you're going? The Delphinus is still being worked on. Ah, right, okay. So, yes, we do have to take the uh, silver ship. Cool. Sure. Fine. <laughs> Not even allowed on my own ship. Typical. <clears throat> and my god, guys. Along with the rest of the UK, it is absolutely sweltering in this gaming room. I literally cannot barely stand it. <laughs> I've got an asthmatic tiny little wheezy fan that it does nothing but blow hot air my way <laughs> so yeah this is uh, I can I never in my life remember it ever being this hot not even close it's 32 degrees in this room right um, oh I think we've already spoke to Fina she's come down Let's go and head over here. Literally, it's so lethargic because of the heat. I've done nothing all day and it's like, it's five o'clock. Haven't been able to do anything. Right. Damn it. I can't believe Ramirez has burned our flag. He's going to pay. Well, hopefully we had a spare flag. Come on, let's go to the Silver Shrine. All right, time to head to the Great Silver Shrine. All righty, this should be interesting. This should definitely be interesting. I mean, it's not the most comfortable looking ship. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say it looks super sketchy or anything, or very easy to fall over the side. Interesting to see Fina doing something technical though. Hang on, I'm about to increase our speed. Okay Fina, go as fast as you want, we'll be okay. Alright, hang on. It didn't exactly look super fast. Wow, this is great. Look, Crescent Island is so sore from up here. Yeah, <laughs> that looks so unsafe. Um, okay. Hopefully there's no debris to crash into up here. Now you'll get to see what lays beyond the sunset. This is amazing. We're almost as high as the moons. Baze, look. Over by the silver moon. There's something there. That's my home. The great silver shrine. Ooh, that looks um, evil and ominous. So we've almost left into space. How can we breathe up here? Whoa, and we're upside down, because, <laughs> sure, why not, I guess. Oh, God, I barely even remember this place. In fact, I don't remember this place. Um, okay. Now, let's start exploring, shall we? So there, ah, we can actually go into first-person view, and we can look down on the planet. So it is actually a planet hanging in space. That's pretty bloody mad. Right, let's go. Well, this isn't uh, getting us all topsy turvy, is it? Right. So, what is that? Oh! So. 
room, I guess. This used to be my room. I grew up in this place. I have many fond memories of this place. But it was so lonely here. Really? This is it? This is all you have? Elder Prime made this doll for me when I was a small child. He's been like a father to me for most of my life. I spent most of my childhood days in this room playing with this doll and with Pupil. So this is why they have nothing. These flowers are not real. The Elder made them. You see, no living creature other than the Sylvites live in this shrine. This bed actually is quite convenient. The sheets are automatically changed every day. But I still feel more comfortable sleeping in normal beds, the kind that you will sleep in. Each bed felt so warm, so comforting, almost as if they had been bathed in warm sunlight for hours and hours. I, I don't know why. Yeah, this place looks so clinical and sterile. This device allows you to speak with and see people that are across vast distances. But after Ramirez left, there was nobody left for me to speak with, except for the elders. You see, Ramirez, the elders, and I are the only Sylvites left. Oh. The elders said that there was no point in having more people here than is necessary. But for some reason, I always felt so lonely here. Ah, so... It's like the Illuminati up here. The few people that pull the strings on everybody else. Whoa. Okay. Do we have any kind of map? Doesn't look like we can bring a map up. That's unfortunate. Okay. So, there are other rooms I think we can explore, but I don't know there's anything in them. So it's really hard to kind of nav navigate as well. I kind of want to have a look around here. What's this? I can see the outside, but there's no window, and it's not a mirror or anything. How does it do that? Well, these guys are obviously incredibly technologically advanced. This is a bed? <laughs> it's pretty neat comes right out of the wall. Yeah, that is pretty neat. So I guess all these rooms are going to be somewhat the same. So who maintains all of this then? So many questions. It's another dock. So many questions. So this place is basically doomed to not last too much longer then really there's not many people left anything in here I guess there's nothing in these rooms just beds okay well let's get on let's go Okay, so let's go to the main pillar thing here. Um, so I'm not sure if, right, this is where we, where did we come from? We need to orientate ourselves. Is that not where our ship is? No. So we didn't come from here. Where did we come from? Was it that one? Nope, no ship. Because we need no ship. It's got to be that one, surely. But it isn't, no. Unless our ship's disappeared. No, there's our ship. But we came from over here, where the... Um, anchor thing is the save point yes I see nothing gets past me aha right so we want to go straight towards the pillar now apparently there's a chest here somewhere 
though. But buy the rooms if you want, but your main goal is the pillar in the middle. Go up the uh, wall and keep going straight. Go up the wall. What wall? Eh? That doesn't make any sense. This wall? And keep going straight. Reach the bottom of the path. Ignore the next turn. Go forward down the wall to a chest. Ha. Huh. I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, can we go up the pillar? I, it doesn't mention going up the pillar, but maybe that's what it means. Um. Wow, so this is what the Great Silver Shrine looks like. It, it's amazing. Baze, do you see the building over there? That's the room of the elders. It's the heart of the shrine. To get there, we must travel through the path of emptiness. But be careful. Um, or else you might lose all sense of direction. Great, this sounds like it's going to be loads of fun. Well, I guess all we have to do is just not get lost, right? Come on, Faze. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is... Ah, and we can't control the camera either, which is cool. Alright, well, let's go up this wall thing, I guess. Whoa. Yeah, that that's not crazy at all. That is not crazy at all. Four-way intersection. Yeah, four-way intersection. Ah, must be meaning this. says turn so I'm guessing there's a chest down here somewhere question mark or was that the chest up there let's go back and find out shall we this place is pretty I'll give it that what a miserable place for a child to live though I guess they have their reasons. Well, there's nothing there. So. Hopefully. I haven't made a grievous error already. Ah, there's the chest right in front of us. <laughs> of course. You received silver armor. Okay. Who wears the silver armor? Ooh. Okay, everybody can wear the silver armor, apparently. A silver suit of armor that has high resistance to silver attacks. Uh, I mean, it's better, but it puts our attack way down. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really put our attack way down. You want, we'll wear it. Why not? Okay, so let's get out of here. So we've got the silver armor. Uh, let's go down here. Very pretty. Not a huge fan of the music here. <coughs> I don't know, I expected more somehow. I guess we're at another dead end. Uh, maybe not. Oh, another chest. Cool. I guess we'll have that. He received a moonberry, which, well, I mean, okay. Um. Uh, so apparently we've got to keep going down. We can't go that way. 
Oh, God. It's a bit topsy-turvy, so we've got two choices here. Um, uh, right, well, let's keep going. Apparently, we've got to walk for quite a way to the next chest, or we come to an elevator. Glad we can fast forward this though. Otherwise, that would be a bit stinky. Is that an elevator? That's an elevator. Guess we're going up. Or down. Oh, we're going up. Right. Okay. Bizarre. Like, who would build something like this? It's just so bizarro. I guess we're going to keep going one particular direction. Ah, perfect. So we get another moonberry. Uh, right. So I guess going backwards. Who the hell created this place? Take a right. Whoa. Okay. Cool. That's fine. Um, I guess we're not going that way. Alright. But we are going to keep walking. Hopefully find another chest. Now, what are we looking like? Ah, uh, oh, there's the chest. I think that's the last chest. And it's another silver armor. So, yay. Who wants this silver armor? I'm kind of tempted to give it to Gilda. Although, I don't know, man. It's kind of a waste giving it to him. I might just give it to Ica. Robe of Truth. Yeah, her magic goes down. I don't know, it doesn't really put, put her up that much, though, does it? Uh, what about Fina? She is also wearing a robe of truth. And, yeah, that doesn't put her up by much either. I mean, better is better, sure, but... What about Gilda? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't do anything for him at all, apparently. Uh, right, well, the Berserker male actually puts his attack and whatnot up by a good chunk. But his defense goes down by also a huge chunk. Um, uh, well, I might as well just give it to Ica then, I suppose. Yeah, because her magic goes down, but magic's not super important for Ica, so, okay. Right, fine, whatever. Now, let's continue trying to find our way out of here. Um, well, how do we, is there a way of getting onto that? Can we summon this somehow? No, doesn't look like it. Alright, this... Is gonna be something strange. Let's go all the way back down to the bottom. Oh, I guess there's a door there. Well, that was <laughs> a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, Fina. Where are we? We're in the Chamber of the Elders. Okay, that wasn't actually that difficult. Fina, welcome home. <coughs> um, 
Robo Beard. I trust you have completed your mission. I'm sorry, I collected all of the crystals, but they were stolen by Ram Ramirez. What? Fina, who, what is that? I see you've brought some of the island dwellers back with you. How amusing. Hey, it looks like there's a bunch of them. I see, so Ramrez has turned after all. When he stopped contacting us, we feared the worst. When he was here in the shrine, he was so loyal. I can't imagine what made him change. If he gave the crystals to the island dwellers, this is very grave news indeed. If he has turned, he has all six crystals, he may release the seal on Helios. That would be tragic. Zelios? What? What? What's grave news? What are you talking about? Elder Prime, please, I want to know the truth. Ramirez has said that he was gathering the moon crystals to raise the lost continent to unleash the rains of destruction. He told me that the silver lights cooled down the rains of destruction on the old world. Is that true? Is that what the crystals are used for? So, young Fina, you have discovered the truth about the crystals. I suppose the time has come to tell you everything. I shall take you to the Hall of Knowledge where you will find the truth. Hey, what's happening to us? I don't like this. Well, looks like we're all going to get a lesson. Hall of Knowledge. Days is not having a good time. Where are we? Baze, I don't like this. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. How about you? I'm not sure yet. I feel strange. Hey, Fina, where'd the crazy old man go? I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on. I've never been here before. You're in the Hall of Knowledge. This is where you will find the Chronicles of Arcadia. Chronicles of Arcadia. It is here where you may observe the events that shape the world as you know it. Look not with your eyes, but with your hearts. You will see the power of the moon crystals and witness the reigns of destruction. So this is the history of what happened before. Looks like a giant island. This is uh, Soltis. Long ago this continent flourished under the light of the silver moon. Ooh. It was our home. So there was one continent for each moon, right? You are correct. The world was at peace and its population was thirsting for knowledge.
but their leaders use their newfound knowledge to create the Gigas. I believe you have seen what the Gigas can do first hand. They all sought the power of the moon crystals. These six little gems twisted the hearts and souls of men. The world became a nightmare. One thousand atrocities resulted in countless deaths. Even after most of the world was destroyed, the survivors sought to kill rather than heal. We watched and judged. We decided that the world could not be saved. Everything came from nothing. So to complete the cycle, we, decide, we decided to destroy everything. So the world would once again be nothing. We believed that new, a new peaceful world would rise from the ashes of the old. Zelius, our own Gigas was born. It was a Gigas born from nothing, but it was but it encompassed everything. It was truly almighty. We then commanded Zelios to focus its energy on the moons. Moonstones battered the islands. The world was cleansed of evil. So they did it. Delios was the cause of the reigns of destruction. When it was over, we placed Delios in a state of suspended animation and sealed him in the depths of Saltus with our magic. It was a magical seal so great that only the power of the six moon crystals together could break it. Afterwards, we sent Solstice along with um, Zelios into deep sky, where we hoped it would remain lost forever. <coughs> Excuse me. Zelios was too powerful. Never should a living soul animate him. Oh dear. We separated this shrine from the rest of Solstice and fled to the skies. Since the days of the old world, we have been watching the world rise from its ashes. So this great silver shrine carried the Sylvias to safety after they destroyed the world. How convenient. You caused the rains of destruction? So now you understand the truth. Yeah, that's pretty evil. I mean, if the other nations are going to kill each other and it's not going to affect you, let them have at it. You don't need to burn the planet. Oh, God. Okay. Fina, when we sent you on your mission, it was not to stop Valua from using the Gigas. It was to once, a once again cool down the reins of destruction. <gasps> You used her. That's horrible. Fina, you saw with your own eyes. The anger, the hate, the suffering, the death. Their quest for power would only consume them. We must cleanse the world. What, are you just going to continuously keep cleansing the world every few thousand years? Is that, is that it? Vase, we see in your heart that you have helped Fina on her quest. We will allow you to stay here in the Great Silver Shrine and live in the new world we are about to create. Will you aid us? <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> it's like, um, hmm. I'm guessing we're gonna say, who do you think you are? I mean, yeah, this, hmm, hmm. <laughs> well, I don't know, keep going, old man. <laughs> what else have you got? Who do you think you are? You think you can just ask us to forget everybody that we care about? You're no different from Gaussian. If the world isn't meeting your standards, then you feel you can just destroy it? I won't allow it. 
Athena, you are one of us. You understand. How could you? Like, that's just insanity. Like, absolute madness. No. I do not understand, elders. You are all wrong. How can you think like this? What? Baze and the others have taught me something. I learned that no matter what happens, you have to be strong. Even if your home is burned to the ground, even if you're facing impossible odds, and even when you don't know who to trust, you just have to be strong and fight for a better future. I, I believe in what I have learnt. As long as the people of the world have that strength in their hearts, they will be able to overcome anything. There has to be a way to return peace to the world without having to cool down the reins of destruction. Well, yeah, there is. You know, take out Gaussian and um, put uh, Enrique on the throne. Yeah, that would do it. It's pretty simple, really. Fina. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that were, uh, world now belongs to me. Uh-oh. I will bring a new order to the world, and all shall bow before me. Gaussian. How did he get here? <laughs> did you forget, little girl, that Ramirez is also a Sylvite? He too has a ship capable of reaching this place. I have come to claim the Silver Crystal. <gasps> what? Look out! Oh dear. No! Oof. There is a silver crystal. I guess in. They only need like a piece of it. Elders, I understand your wish to mold the world into how you see fit. But you will not be the ones with the power to make that decision. Ramirez is t much too valuable to me. I could not take the crystals from his body. I thought of taking the crystal from you, Fina, but I realized that there was a much easier way of getting one. <laughs> now the six crystals are in my possession. Watch as the world bows before me. Damn, Gaussian. Well, I guess... There's one of the elders is dying. Elder Prime. Do not cry, Fina. Elder Prime is now free. He has returned to a, a state of nothingness. But Ramirez has acquired all six of the crystals. The world will crumble before them. All is lost. No. I refuse to give up. I can't sit here and watch the people of the world be slaughtered. We'll stop them. I can't let them unleash the reins of destruction. Fina, it is hopeless. God, you're such a depressing bastard. Faze, we've got to go back to Deep Sky. Find Soltis. Galcine and Ramrus must be stopped. Alright, everybody. You heard Fina. We've got to stop them. And stop them we will, I assume. Island dwellers, if you wish, I can send you back to the entrance of the shrine. Uh, yeah, that would be great. Because, yeah, that'd be great. Because we've only got a few uh, chams left to find. And they are not here. Very well. Right, well, let's get this show on the road, but before we do that, let's save it. And to be fair, we're going to have to do that in the next episode anyway, because we're out of time again. I know. Ugh. So that was interesting.
So the Silvites are actually evil Nazi bastards that uh, seem to decide <laughs> to destroy the planet whenever they kind of feel like it. Which is curious. <laughs> they're literally, literally playing God, and if they're not happy with the way the world is turning out, they just nuke it into, you know, back to, you know, I don't know, mud, essentially, glass the entire planet, covenant style, um, and then wait and see what crawls out of the ashes, and if they don't like that, well, they'll just nuke that back and start again. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty, pretty funny. That's pretty evil. I like it. <laughs> um, but anyway, when we come back, uh, I guess we're we're gonna have to stop this vicious cycle of death and destruction, or something. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.